Hi, welcome to day 72, 73, and 74. I've been sort of not wanting to make this video because I've been avoiding these things myself. But it's time. So we booked our first little, you know, trip, whatever it was. And now we're going to, to do some more. So we have day 72, day 73, and day 74. We have three more things that we're gonna do before we get to day 75. So, the one thing is something short, a short trip coming up next weekend. This happens to be, you know, within the next seven days. I want you to look around a short little trip somewhere that you've always wanted to go, maybe a town or a community within um, a three to four hour drive of you could be two hours, could be three hours, somewhere that you've always wanted to go, and you're going to book it with your family. You're gonna do just an overnight, just a nice simple little getaway. For me, it happens to be Father's Day weekend coming up next weekend, so I am going to book um, a place that I've always wanted to go within a driving distance and just do it, even though I don't feel up to it. So that's the first day. So I want you to book something like that. I challenge you to do that. Secondly, we are going to do the big one, okay? So I want you to book, there's, there's three actually. I want you to book something that you've always wanted to book and I know you're thinking, I don't have the money. I don't wanna spend the money if I'm not well. Um, it's such a waste. Okay, I want you to either um, go into your house and sell something or find a way to make that money or just tell yourself it's fine if I waste the money uh, doing this trip and I'm not well, it's fine because I'm not going to let this illness define me or stop me anymore. I'm going to do it with the illness. I'm going to live. I'm not going to let it use it as an excuse in any way, anyhow, any shape, any form anymore. So I want you to go, for me, it's an all-inclusive. I've been wanting to book an all-inclusive with my family um, for six years and I haven't done it. So I am going to find the cheapest all-inclusive vacation and I want you to book that within the next six months okay anytime it can be in the next month or it can be six months from now if you feel like oh my god it's just too overwhelming that's the second thing number three the grand papoose um, for me uh, I want you to pick a year from now or a year from a very special date. It could be an anniversary or a birthday. And I want you to book that trip of a lifetime that you've been waiting to do. Um, somewhere different. Somewhere that you've wanted to try to go, but you feel like maybe you're not ready for. Like, you know, like an all-inclusive is one thing because you're gonna sit, you're gonna kind of be in the same area, but maybe you want to go to Europe or you want to travel, you want to go to Africa or you want to go to Australia or you want to go to Fiji or you, you know, you want to go somewhere very special. So I have a very special uh, 20th wedding anniversary coming up next year. And I've been thinking about this and thinking, you know, will I be well enough and I'm just going to make it happen. So I don't know where yet, but you must have something on your bucket list, so maybe four or five places. I'm going to choose one, and I'm gonna hopefully book it. I don't have the money. I honestly don't feel like I can well enough to do it, but it's gonna be for over a year out. It's gonna be about a year and two months out at this point of date for me, and I'm gonna book it anyway. I'm just gonna figure out, just put like a down payment on it. I think you can sometimes always get out of these things if you need to, but I'm gonna put the down payment on it and I am going to, by then, find a way to pay for it and also find a way to be healthy enough for it. So those are the three great huge things that I've been putting off because of health and because of um, money. And I'm not gonna let them stop me anymore. So if you can't afford or you can't do those things, then do something close, do something similar, do something on that level of magnitude um, that you want to do, that you've been wanting to do, that feels that big and that grand. And 
those three things over the next three days, I want you to not over research it, not overthink it, just move forward, just move forward. Get them in place and it's a big challenge because you know, we don't want to let this illness define us anymore. We want to find a way to break out of this box, this shell, this place that we're stuck in. And, you know, just like in that movie, if anyone's ever seen that movie, Field of Dreams, I did when I was a child. It's like, if you build it, they will come. Sort of like that. So, build your life and it will come.